is Epsil. Welcome to AC and my interview here at AC 2018. I guess to get this interview started, I must ask, what is your name? My name's Splash Busky. Splash, awesome, welcome. What got you into the fandom, Splash? Um, many years ago, 10 or so, 10 or 11 years ago, I saw footage of um, conventions on the internet, on web archives, before YouTube was out. So, kind of just stumble upon stuff like that. And I thought it was really interesting, but a little absurd. So, I wasn't too into it, but I thought the costumes were really, really cool. And it wasn't until much later that I, I went to conventions. So, that's how I, I found out about furries. Pretty cool. So, you said 11, 10 years ago is when you became a furry. Uh, how long? Did you actually consider it? Uh, I guess Same about five years ago. Uh, it was. It wasn't until around yeah five years, five years ago that I actually considered getting a suit. Okay. How did you come up with your Sona's name, and is this your main Sona? Um, this is my main Sona, and it was designed by Don't Hug Cacti, so I didn't create it, but um, it is very much me, and I'm glad to bring him to life. Awesome. What part of the fandom do you enjoy the most? Is it the music, the art, how about suiting around? Well, I do all of all that stuff, um, but I do especially love the art because I feel like the art is what actually gives life into everything. I feel like the art is the essence of every aspect of the fandom. Yes. Who created your first fursuit and is this your current one? Do you have any others? This is my only suit, and I don't have any plans for another for the time being, but um, who knows in the future. What inspired you to get your suit made? And it was by Don't Hug Cacti? Yeah, it was. Um, so Lucky Coyote, who uh, creates most of the designs of Don't Hug Cacti, um, she created the design, and I really liked it. I was really into characters with this sort of pastel, or it's not quite pastel, it's like just above pastel. <laughs> it's just <laughs> below pastel. But I love the orange, blue, and white, and it's very fresh and very summery. Very nice. How old is your suit? Um, well, I got it in September, so 9,000. Um, almost a year. I'll just say almost a year. Almost a year. year. Pretty good. If you could swap suits with someone, who would it be, and why would you do it? This is actually a hard question. Um, honestly, I don't think I have any real desire to swap suits, but, um, I guess it would be fun to try a mischief maker on. Pretty cool. Do you go to many conventions? Um, well, this year's an exception, but <laughs> I don't usually go to many conventions. It just so happens I've been to three this year already. So of those three, which one is your favorite to visit? BLFC is the best. Um, it's I can tell you why. <laughs> There's everything there and so much more. There's they have the best arcade of, out of any convention uh, related to furry, and there's they're just they have the new swimming pool. I love that. As of people, I don't gamble at all, but the location it's out west. The air is dry. It's fun to go outside. It's all good. Wow. Do what like what kind of things do you like to do at a convention? Um. Well, I like meeting people. I actually. I'm not much of a people person, but it's uh, very easy to come across people <laughs> in a convention of this size. I'm not much of a crowd person, so definitely the games, um, visiting the dealer center, just seeing a lot of, like, I just really like a lot of the cute stuff there. Okay, that's pretty cool. Uh, do you like to go suiting publicly or just at conventions? I haven't been suiting public on my own outside of uh, local fur meets and that's always a blast because you're not doing your own thing you're like in a group and it's 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 fun socially fun fun do you try to avoid being randomly hugged by strangers do you prefer someone if they come up to you tap your shoulder and ask or something along those lines um i guess like unexpected hugs are not really cool cuz you never know what could happen so I always do this motion, and then if they respond, then it's good. Cool. What do you consider a furry in your opinion? Um, any, anyone or anything is furry if they claim it to be, or they claim to be one. That's my, that's how my definition is of a furry. But 
furry can be so many people's definitions, so that's just mine. If you choose to be a furry, if you like animals, and you choose to be furry, you're furry. All right. Where do you travel from, Splash? Um, I am in Virginia, so Central Virginia, Richmond, so just west of, just west of Richmond. Okay. If you were to travel to another country or somewhere in the United States, either for vacation, having fun, or maybe a convention like AC, where would you travel to? Um, I really like California when I visit them, mostly for the people. I think the people are very, um, there's like this flow about it. You just kind of fit in with everyone. It's very uh, open-minded. Um, so yeah, California, I guess. Cool. What do you do outside of the fandom? Personal life, like work, uh, hobbies? Um, right now I'm a tutor at my community college and I tutor computer science and chemistry. Um, but I haven't had too many appointments this summer. Um, but soon I'll be a student again at Virginia Tech. Alright. What are you learning at Virginia Tech? Um, computer science. Oh, fun. Yeah. Is uh, that a four year, two year? It'll be a four year. I just finished my two year. Oh, nice. Now you're on vacation, right? Coming yeah, to... <laughs> yeah. Do you have a favorite movie that you like to watch over and over? Favorite movie is Spirited Away, hands down. I, I would say Fight Club, but Spirited Away, there's just so much. You can't take it in, like, you take a hundred watches and then there's just something else you miss. It's so great. All right. Do you have a favorite season, spring, summer? Um, I used to love winter as a kid, but I like the warmth now, so I'll say the summer. Okay. Do you prefer suiting in the winter, or is any season okay with you? Um, I guess any season's okay, really. I mean, I, I do like the cold in the winter, but, you know, every day is a suiting day. Right. Do you, do you have a favorite kind of food to eat, a drink, a snack, something? I could live at Chipotle. I could live behind the counter. <laughs> not a Starbucks person, no? Mm, actually, I don't drink coffee, no soda, not really soda. No caffeine, no sugar. Oh. I love Chipotle. I love energy and calorie dense food. So seeing that your sona is like all white, orange, and blue, I would have to assume one of your favorite colors is one of them? Actually, my favorite color is yellow. Yellow? Okay. <laughs> but I, I love this combination. I think if I had a character by with only one color, I'd consider yellow or pastel yellow. Oh. Alright. Final question. Actually, second for final question. How old are you? I am 26. 26. A lot of... Mid-20s, that's not too bad. It's a, a young hobby, I guess. Mm -hmm. All right, final question this time around. How did you come out to friends and family that you were a furry? Well... Or is it still a bit of a secret amongst... It's not really a secret, but it's not like, what the heck are you doing? It's just like, I I'm gonna go do this, and they're like, okay. I don't really say, this is the best thing in my life, I have to do it. I just kind of go do it. <laughs> so, if they're interested, I tell them. Otherwise... Whatever. Yeah, why not, you know? Kind of get them involved, bring them in. <laughs> yeah. That's what we all do. That's our goal in life, is to bring in more furries. We're like a little disease right now amongst everyone. <laughs> well, that is all the questions that I have this afternoon. Thanks for coming down and answering them with me. I hope you enjoy the rest of your weekend here at AC in Pittsburgh. Thank you!